Martha. Didn't see you to GOP Women's Day at dinner. You're not a woman. You're right. I was out of town. <laughs> oh, we're back. Hi, we're back. So we were just <laughs> chit-chatting here with Kevin Brooks. State Representative Kevin Brooks, uh, 24th District, which is uh, Cleveland, and just a tiny slice of Bradley County, I think, isn't it? But it's a good slice. It's yeah. a good, uh, good slice. Yeah. Slice of life. Yeah, and he is uh, State Representative. How many years is this now? 2006 I was elected. <laughs> 2006. So, yeah, I'm entering into my fifth year and yeah. uh, third term, and hopefully... 2012 will be another great time. There you go. So he's you, you kind of unofficially heard it here. <laughs> I've heard it here first. That's <laughs> Ooh, exactly. he's gonna breaking run news. Again. I'm going to run again. <laughs> there you go. Well, Kevin drops by from time to time to uh, amuse us and uh, also... <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of it. <laughs> and also bring us up to date on what's going on uh, in state government. Mm -hmm. And there's always, it seems, something going always on something in state exciting. government. I understand the governor was in town, slipped in and out in a hurry right. on Wednesday of this past right. week. Big hurry. And uh, actually, well, he was delayed ah. because of the fog. Oh, you did might you know? remember that we uh, well, had, when I got up that morning, I right. remember lots of fog. And uh, they circled around and, and could not land in Cleveland or Chattanooga, and, and oh, he was delayed a little bit. But goodness. we had a great tour of the $1.5 billion yeah. plant. Uh, <laughs> in, it's actually District 22. It's Representative Watts' it's district. Yeah. Uh, but he and I and a number of uh, Vacher officials yeah. and Dr. Vacher, the great-grandson of the founder, himself oh. himself oh. and yeah. um and governor haslam and commissioner slattery and um uh deputy governor claude ramsey was here was here and wow. uh, just an amazing to see that site and mm -hmm. what is happening yeah um i think one of the things that was most striking to me was how they think of this as a generational investment ah. um i think our grandkids our kids' kids will benefit from what's happening uh -huh. right here in Bradley County. $1.5 billion. Wow. They've already hired. Did they give you an indication of how many? I know they've been hiring for some time. They but have how been many hiring. Have uh, they have a number, uh, a couple of hundred they've already hired. Okay. Um, and they said up to 2,000 will be on site during construction. Yeah. Um, those people have to live and eat and stay yeah. in Bradley County. So yeah. it's, a, it's a great time to be in Bradley County. Yeah. Uh, the uh, total investment, $1.5 billion when they get done. I live out that way, Kevin, at uh, exit 33, going out toward right. the river, B&B &B Marina in that area. And sometimes I get up early before daybreak, and I come around there at exit uh, 33, mm -hmm. and you look to the left, and you're like, what is that bright glow in the sky? And it looks like a city out it, there. It at does night. look like a city. You, you don't yeah. see it so much in the daytime. All you see is a few cranes mm -hmm. sticking up. But at night, it's lit up like, like Cleveland. Right. Yeah. It's really going to change the landscape, isn't it? It really will change the landscape. And I think for the better, it will change our community. Um, what they are predicting will happen as far as their growth and, and the future. It, uh, it's just an amazing thing um, to see what this corporation does around the globe. Mm -hmm. um, go on their website and see what they have done in other countries and realize that's happening right here where we live. It's really a, it's an exciting time and mm -hmm. we were thrilled. Um, I was honored that they invited us to come up and have a preview. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're glad that that's going on in Bradley County and that's just a few of the several hundred jobs that have been created here uh, thanks to a lot of our elected officials' efforts uh, in the last 24 months. The Chamber of Commerce, of course, heavily involved in that. Um, There's a plug for Missy. Yeah, I saw her setting over there. That's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, it is a team effort, though, isn't it, Absolutely. Kevin? I mean, yeah. from the state level, from the governor's office, yeah. from the chamber all the way down, you know, to the, to the mayor's office, all the elected officials. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a real team effort to and, land yeah. someone like Wagner no or Amazon. Yeah, there's no question that it takes every part of that team, uh, state, local, federal, mm -hmm. very involved in, in those that you mentioned, Whirlpool, for example, as well. Mm -hmm. um, there, there is a great team spirit in Bradley County. Yeah. Uh, I just left with Senator Bell. We had a meeting with some principals. Uh, we've been meeting with teachers, you know, to, to sort of have this team, mm -hmm. and they feel it, and, and we sense it ourselves, and it's a, it's a great way to serve together. It's mm -hmm. not about the individual. Mm -hmm. um, there's no I in team. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, a, 
Yeah. Well, we seem to have a great team in Nashville, and uh, let's let's find out what's actually going on in Nashville. I know you've got a new session coming up soon. January the 10th, we uh, we report back. The Constitution tells us we've got to be there mm -hmm. the second Tuesday at noon, and uh, we will begin the next session, and we have already gotten reports. They want us to file fewer bills. Fewer bills. Less government. You already did that in the last session, didn't you? They want us to file even fewer, less government, get done early again and get home and get home and, uh, <laughs> and that's uh, we've already been given our marching orders in december before we get there in not january not spend the taxpayers money keeping yeah. our representatives in nashville i think what report did i see because the session ended early last year you filed fewer bills last year right and you dismissed how many days early many many days early <laughs> <laughs> but you saved the taxpayer was it a half a million half a million dollars, dollars. Half a million. Yeah. 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 By not paying us to sit around and wait for the end of yeah. session. Mm. Um, we, we predicted it could be done. Speaker Harwell said we want it done, and we proved it could be done. And now we're going to go back and show it was not just a one-time thing, yeah. that yeah. this is uh, Can do it. manageable. And, uh, and, and it, that's what it boils down to, managing the legislative process. Uh -huh. Fewer bills in equals yeah. fewer time that you're Yeah, there. and Speaker Harwell... Uh, seems to run a tight ship. I'm impressed with her. She was in Bradley County she when was. the governor came uh, last month. That's right, to the Whirlpool month? visit. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also had the ribbon cutting for the first long-term recovery organization house that was rebuilt. You were there. And uh, that was a great day. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just, you know, you have a chance to watch people. Yeah, and she's, I've, I've she's observed an her. And she's, she seems to run a pretty tight ship. We call her the show. Iron Lady of Tennessee. The Iron Lady of Tennessee. She's <laughs> our, that's a high compliment. She's <laughs> our Margaret Thatcher. Because right. I, uh, I was a big fan of Margaret Thatcher. I really <laughs> was. Right. Well, any idea what, what may be on the agenda? Getting any clues of what you might be considering? You know, there, there's a lot already. Um, and, th and that's one thing that, that we're working on is, is to to be cognizant of the fact of the more that we generate, it might sound like a good idea, but let's make sure that working together, that we're not all bringing the same bill and duplicating our efforts. Uh, but I think there's going to be a definite education discussion. Okay. Um, I think we're going to talk about uh, the different hall taxes and estate taxes. I think we're going to continue making Tennessee a great place for jobs. Government doesn't give out jobs. Mm -hmm. We should create the environment that jobs want to come here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a big difference than what we've had in the past. And I think if we continue focusing on making this a great place for industry, for small business, mm -hmm. large business, um, and everything in between, from Gobble Automotive all the way up to mm -hmm. Vocker. Oh, yeah. uh, we well, they're the next Vocker. You, know, I mean, gobble you, you automotive. meant to say Gobble Automotive all the way all down, down. down. Yeah. Yeah. Vocker. <laughs> <laughs> I did figure out how to make a million dollars, though. Someone needs to build a car wash at exit 33, if you think about all that construction. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, I, I, I thought you were that. going for that old joke, somebody's uh, horse lovers, and they said, uh, if, you, if you like horses, I can tell you how to make a million dollars if you own horses. <laughs> and they said, how? And they said, start out with two. Start out with two. <laughs> <laughs> end up with one. Horses are expensive. Car wash. Yeah, car, car wash. I believe that. I live at that exit, yeah. and, uh, you know, it's getting harder and harder to get off of that exit. Now I get off and have to turn right and go down there and make a U-turn to get back in line to get to where I want to go. I may have to find an alternate route because it's just a busy, busy place. Well, I, I happen to know the chairman of transportation, you know, so he could shares an office with me. I'll could you tell him? Exit 33. Exit 33 needs a stoplight uh, <laughs> going north off that exit. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> That's all I can say. Last, uh, this past weekend, I sat in line there. I don't know. There must have been 10 cars lined up on that exit. And, and of course, anytime you get behind three semi-trucks, and they don't accelerate real fast. And right. then you got people going home from Walker Valley, and you sit there forever. So finally, I said, you know, the quickest way for me to get home is to go up here and turn right. And go down there a ways and make a U-turn and come back, and that's what I did. A legal U-turn. And the other part, a legal, yeah. it was legal. Yeah. Legal. It was not illegal. It legal U-turn. Legal U-turn. Yeah. And just don't text. I looked for the sign. Yeah. Right. And it was legal. Good. <clears throat> but when I came back, those trucks were still sitting there, so <laughs> I knew I'd made the right decision. You did the right thing. Yeah, I did. Um, okay, can I ask a question? Please do. Okay. Absolutely. Hi, Ginger. How are you doing? I'm great. I just have a question. Um, is it just me, or does our governor remind you of Dana Carvey? 
Nak cara dia. Ya eh, every time I say that's what I want to get. I'm not going to say. It. I'm not going to say. It. You know, our governor is an amazing. I love him. He's, he's an he's amazing. He's made the gobbles automotive yeah. he has. He is an amazing man, a uh, great family man, he great is. husband. Yes. Greeted us a few nights ago at his home. Yeah. Uh, welcomed us. Uh, you know, no name tags, no person helping him. Uh, and he remembers your name, asks about your family. Yeah. Um, uh, he's the real deal. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll he's watch. the real deal. But every he's time I see him, I want to go. Dana Car- No. Wouldn't be prudent at this <laughs> juncture. <laughs> so maybe he should run for president. <laughs> He could. There's a thought. Mm. Well, let's start that rumor, shall there we? There you go. <laughs> and you heard run, it here today. And I'll run for governor in 2018. Yeah. yeah. 20, <laughs> what year? What year? 2018. 2018. See, we started that rumor right here. Hazlitt for president, <laughs> Brooks for governor. There you I go. I like it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the uh, session starts January 10th. 10th. Join us, 12 noon. And uh, <laughs> will that be carried live on live. PBS TN.gov. local tn.gov and, and that's charter true. channel 98 okay and uh, please join us live and in person mm-hmm. if someone watching and they have an issue and of course you're here to represent <coughs> the people and uh, they say I've got a problem I need to talk to my state rep how do they get a hold of you easiest way is tn.gov it says find your representative uh, click on it and you plug in your address and it will tell you if you live in Bradley County whether you're representative Watson or representative Brooks constituent uh, but regardless, mm-hmm. we're there to help. We work as a team. We work great together. And uh, contact us. There's an 800 number on the screen. Mm-hmm. Um, let us hear from you. That's, yeah. that's what we do best. And you do respond. Thanks. Because I've contacted him a few times. And he always responds. Occasionally, he'll even send me a text. Ooh. <laughs> I've got two teenagers. <laughs> I know. I have, he, to know. I have to know how to text. He's learned how to text. I've got two granddaughters, so I right. have to know how to text. Right. Do you well, text Michaela Ann? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a necessity in this day and age. Yes. Kevin, it's always good to have you on thanks, the show. Dan. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, I know Dan. you've got to run. You've got to be somewhere soon, and uh, you're a busy man, but thanks so much for thanks. coming by. Always and a uh, Merry See Christmas to all of you and yours. And, Thank you. And uh, we wish you the best in this, Merry Christmas. In this holiday season. Thanks, thanks so much. We'll be back in just a moment. Uh, Melissa Woody standing by. We're going to talk about some exciting things at the chamber you'll want to know about. There's Michaela Ann. Yeah, hey. right, right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Guy with Landmark Insurance Brokerage. Call us today for all your personal insurance needs. With 28 years in the insurance business, I have the solutions and pricing you are looking for. At Landmark Insurance Brokerage, we've got you covered. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland, is your number one Dodge Chrysler and Jeep dealer in this area. Stop by and see the brand new 2011 Chrysler 200. The 200 is essentially a new nameplate with a significant facelift to the outgoing 2010 Chrysler Sebring. A beautiful vehicle at an unbeatable price. And while you're there, check out the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee and the newly designed Dodge Durango. Redesigned, revamped, and reinvigorated. Yes, the Dodge Dodge Durango is back, bigger and better than ever. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep offers a complete parts and service department with qualified service technicians to fix and repair your vehicle. So for your next brand new or pre-owned vehicle, make it Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland. I'm Dr. James Markham, host of the television program Heart of Health, seen right here on WTNB Television, Thursday at 7 o'clock. Friday at 8 a.m. or Sunday at 3.30 p.m. How would you like to look and feel better? If so, then visit the Ford Center for Anti-Aging, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Dr. Ford has been serving Cleveland and the surrounding area since 1984. He is a licensed physician with the Board of Anti-Aging Medicine, offering affordable Botox injections. Botox is a medication that is used to treat dynamic wrinkles such as crow's feet, forehead lines, and frown lines. In addition to Botox therapy, rejuvenate and smooth wrinkled skin. The micro laser peel treats skin conditions associated with aging and active lifestyles. If you're looking for safe and affordable anti-aging treatment, call the Ford Center for Anti-Aging at 423-614-0535, located at 2020 Key Street, Northwest.
Welcome back and you're watching the Tennessee Valley this morning. Let's take a quick look at your weather forecast today. Rain in the forecast, partly cloudy tomorrow as well as Sunday. Highs in the uh, low to mid uh, 50s. Overnight lows for the period in the upper to uh, low 30s. Looks like tomorrow night it may get down below freezing, so check your plants and uh, your water pipes. And just in case it rains today, take your umbrella with you. You're watching the Tennessee Valley this morning. Thanks so much for joining us on this. Yay, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dan Howell here with, uh, what's your name again? Ginger Gobble. Ginger of, of Go uh, Ginger Gobble's Automotive. Automotive. Ginger yeah, Ginger's Gobble Automotive. Ginger's Automotive. co-host, as she is often. And, of course, Melissa Woody is here. I hadn't been here in a while, but I know. great to have you back. Very nice to be back. Thank yeah, you. Good Thank to, you for inviting me. We wanted to get an update on... All the exciting things going on around Cleveland and Bradley County in the uh, arena of tourism, things to see and do, and uh, one of those staycation type things that Absolutely. so many people are talking about. Yeah. Melissa knows because she is the vice president of the Convention and Visitors Bureau for, the, uh, for Cleveland and Bradley County. And First, I would like to say that I planned my entire outfit today <laughs> off that. of my smart wool socks. I'm obsessed with smart wool socks. I and love so this smart is my wool newest socks. pair, and they have red and brown. And so I planned my entire outfit um, around my, well, my new you've socks. You've done well. Nice. Well, thank you. At first, I was going to say you consulted with Pat Fuller at Orange Blossom, but no, you didn't need any help. This, I, 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 just start I'm with not. the socks. Yeah. Start with the socks with the and socks. go from there. Yeah. I'm obsessed with the socks. Yeah, it's kind of like decorating a room. You start with a rug or you start with a picture and go from there. That's right. Great and that's job. one of the things we're famous for in Cleveland, Tennessee. Yeah. We, we make smart wool socks, and among other wonderful products. And I love them. I do too. They are. I, we have so we have drawers full mm, of them. No, <laughs> they are. They we, are. We we wonderful. are obsessed. Mm -hmm. so. Well, we have a lot of interesting things that uh, are happening and uh, continue to happen uh, in Cleveland and Bradley County. Uh, it's it's becoming a destination place. Isn't it, it is. For and so I'm, many people. I'm on a grassroots mission to start saying Bradley County, Cleveland, and Charleston. Okay. Bradley County, Cleveland, and Charleston. That's good. Because Charleston is so much is happening in Charleston. Yeah. And um, we have been very fortunate this past year um, to be a part of um, the whole increase of tourism in Tennessee. All 95 counties had an increase in revenue this year in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So tourism is looking up, our economy is looking up, because, you know, so goes the economy, so goes tourism. People make different decisions mm -hmm. when they're spending money on vacations according to the economy. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that they still go places. And like you said, Dan, staycations are very popular they because... Are. Um, you know, people still go, like if I can get my husband to put down on our on his calendar that we're going somewhere, I don't care if it's to Nyota to see the, the, <laughs> oldest, the oldest depot in Tennessee, you know, I, I'm going to go somewhere yeah. because you need that time away. You need to be able to um, replenish yourself, renew yourself. And, um, and so I'm just going to make different decisions if the economy is not going the way of a larger trip so and I think that I, I'm not that different from other people I think yeah. that other people do the same thing yeah um, so my job at the Chamber as uh, Vice President for Convention and Visitors Bureau is to promote our assets in this region and we do promote regionally because we mm -hmm. depend on our neighbors and they depend on us yeah. we all work together so great in Southeast Tennessee we we have an organization called Southeast Tennessee Tourism Association mm -hmm. and we all just partner on trails and have uh, we've got a farm trail, we've got an art trail, we've got a Civil War trail, a Native American trail, all kinds of different religious heritage trail called yeah. On the Go on the Glory Land Road. And so we all partner together and, and that's one of my jobs at the Chamber. The other side of my job is product development. Mm -hmm. And you know, you think of maybe a product as um, a box of detergent on the shelf or something that you buy at the grocery store. In my industry, a product is something that the visitor can experience. Yeah. Um, you know, it's either a trail or it's, um, um, you know, the Okoy River that mm -hmm. you can experience or uh, Apple Valley Orchard. You can go on a tour of the orchard and get apples that are grown right there in, in Apple Valley Orchard. So those are experiences and those are mm -hmm. products. We're developing a product right now in Charleston, Tennessee. Oh, I know. I've been involved in some of those <clears throat> meetings. How exciting this is. It is very exciting. And, and you know, the, the interesting thing, you were just talking to um, Kevin, yeah. Representative Brooks, about the progress that's happening in Charleston and around Charleston. 
And now I'm going to talk about preservation. So we've got progress and we've got preservation happening mm -hmm. in the same t ha happening in the same area, and it's so exciting to um, have that momentum going on both fronts. Mm -hmm. So um, so what I'm I'm going to share with you today is something I have mentioned on the show before, but I just want to make sure that people who haven't tuned in before understand. Imagine going to Gettysburg and there being no sign. Have you ever been to Gettysburg? Never have. Been Never to have. some of the other parks. Chickamauga but... Battlefield, yeah, for instance, yeah. in, in Chattanooga. Imagine going to a national site like that and there being no marker, no signage, mm -hmm. no rangers to help you understand what happened there. Those are nationally significant sites. Yeah. We have a nationally significant site off of exit 33 in present day Charleston, Tennessee mm -hmm. that is not marked. Mm -hmm. No one knows about not it. Not explained. And it is the, the, the Trail of Tears headquarters, the, the military headquarters for the Trail of Tears. It was called Fort Cass, mm -hmm. and it was located in Charleston, Tennessee, along with, before Fort Cass, the, the Indian agency from the federal government. Just like we have an embassy in Italy or an embassy in France, we had somewhat of an embassy to the Cherokee Nation. Mm -hmm. And um, it and it's not exactly the same, but it's that's the best way to describe it mm -hmm. to people who aren't familiar with it. But that was also in Charleston. Mm -hmm. And it became the site of the military fort, Fort Cass, which was a collection of encampments where Cherokee and other tribes, some Creek, were gathered there and then removed to the west on the mm -hmm. on the tragic Trail of Tears that we yeah. all now know very very um, well. And um, there's not a sign. Nothing. No. We have a brochure. I should have brought it. But we have a brochure um, that you can get at the Chamber of Commerce called Your Passport to Explore Cherokee Heritage. The reason we call it a passport is because at one time you had to have a passport to pass through Charleston. It mm. was not in the United States. It was in the Cherokee Nation. It was another nation. Right. Oh. So Just up the road. Wasn't, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. And, and actually you're sitting here in the studio um, in what was once the Cherokee Nation. Cherokee Nation, yeah. We, Bradley County was formed out of the Okoy District of the Cherokee Nation. Mm -hmm. And um, and so we, this was all part of another country mm -hmm. at one time in the 1830s and prior to that. Um, so we are working to educate people mm -hmm. about that history, to share that story. It's not a happy story, but mm -hmm. it's a piece of American history that if we don't share it, if we don't mark it, it's going to be lost. Yeah, and we need to learn from our history. Right. And I think it's so important what you're doing. And something exciting has just happened. I know yes. I was at the groundbreaking of Olin several weeks ago mm -hmm. when uh, they announced their expansion. But if part of that, they donated several thousand dollars. They donated $30,000. To this effort. Toward a, it, the, what we're doing is a three-part product, a three-part development process. Um, the first part is a heritage center, yeah. and that will give us something to, uh, people can come to something. Mm -hmm. You know, if they get off of exit 33, if they're one of the 60,000 cars that pass that exit every day, mm -hmm. if we get a fraction of those people that get off of that exit and decide they want to come to see the heritage center, um, and then maybe have lunch mm -hmm. at Subway or, yeah. you know, one of the other um, at Hadaway Diner mm -hmm. as a chamber member, and they're up in Charleston. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, th that's money that's spent in our community. Sure. But even more importantly, they learn about a story that could be lost if, if it's not told. Mm -hmm. And so we are actually, we've just closed on the property for a heritage center. Oh. oh. So we have raised the money um, to purchase the old, reg the former Regions Bank. Right there right on the main on drag right on Highway 11. Yeah. And interestingly enough, it's on current Highway 11, but it also borders historic Highway 11. Oh, so it's right between, highway. yeah, the old yeah. concrete highway. Yeah. It's right between old and new, uh -huh. which is kind of cool, it seems, seems symbolic. And, um, and so we're going to be renovating that center and making it a welcome center and heritage center to tell the story of Charleston. Because not only does Charleston um, have this rich Cherokee heritage, but it also has a Civil War story yes. with the bridge burning. You know, yeah. they recently had a reenactment of the mm -hmm. bridge burning across the Hawassi. Also, Sherman stayed in Charleston. There was a battle in Charleston. 
Um, and that, then as you go through history, yeah. TVA has a big story oh, with yeah. the filming of Wild River wow. in 1959 in Charleston. Um, cultural milestones. Charleston had the first black mayor in Tennessee. Yeah. Had the first black police chief in Tennessee. I mean, yeah. lots of, Charleston's a little town, but it's got a big story it's and a, we it plan does. to tell it. It does have a big <clears throat> story. And they've got something that I recently discovered. I think I was with you or somebody on a tour. They've got a cypress swamp right yes, in the middle yes. of town. TVA Beautiful. planted that cypress swamp right in the middle of, of downtown Charleston and um, in the 1930s mm -hmm. for soil conservation mm -hmm. because that is a part of the um, backwaters of the Hiwassee mm -hmm. that go up and down when the river is up and down with mm -hmm. the seasonal, uh, you know, the dam adjustments. And so um, you go, people pass it every day and they don't even realize I it. I had. And um, you can look in the cypress swamp and it is like an enchanted forest it or is. something. It's Aww. beautiful. Yeah. I understand and it's there different. may be plans to some way in the future make that accessible for tourists who'd like well, to see it. Well, and that. that's the second part of the program. The, the first part is the Heritage Center, which, you know, as we closed on that property, a Heritage Center was born. So we're mm -hmm. excited about that. We still are raising money to renovate it. So it doesn't stop here just begins. And then the other part, another part is a river park mm -hmm. that is, is uh, paying homage to the Hiwassee and then an interpretive greenway that connects the two. That's about a two mile greenway. Oh. And, um, and that greenway will have some observation decks. It'll skirt the edge of that cypress swamp, but it'll have some observation decks and interpret wildlife and native plantings oh, yeah. and oh, the nice. things about our community that the Cherokee and we love so much oh, yeah, yeah. about living here. What a great, great story, Melissa. And you're just doing an outstanding job. I'm speaking uh, from my experience of observation, of course, Thank doing you. a great job. Well, of and there helping. are a lot of people that are involved yeah. in it. We, it. This is a very much a partnership yeah. effort. We've partnered with TVA. We've worked with Eastern Man to the Cherokee, the Trail of Tears Association. Of course, it's the Charleston Hiwass Charleston Calhoun Hiwassee Historical mm -hmm. Society that is uh, yeah. the base organization for this mm -hmm. project. Yeah, I know Faye up in Charleston is yes. very, very involved in this. We're very happy to, and honored to be um, helping with the whole yeah. deal. So. Yeah, well, what an exciting, exciting project. If you want to know more about it, I assume you've got a great website you can go to. You can. You can go to visitclevelandtn.com and see all of the sites that are listed in Charleston because we do have some of the sites listed and then um, but you can also call me at the chamber anybody who wants to be involved because it is a very significant project it's probably one of the it's probably the most important project I mm -hmm. will ever do in my career yeah and I've been in public relations for 20 years in this yeah. town and this is the most important it thing I'll, I'll ever do probably. what is the chambers website Melissa? chambers website is clevelandchamber.com clevelandchamber.com and if mm -hmm. you can't remember that go to bradleycode.net and there's a link to the chambers we all link to yeah, it. yeah. Everybody <laughs> all one big it's thing. all a partnership <laughs> we're all working together melissa woody the vice president of the convention and visitors bureau for uh cleveland bradley county and charleston yes i, I did i got you the did. name that's right the you did bradley county <laughs> cleveland charleston go. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank it's you always for great, having me. Always great to see you and give our best to our fire chief, uh, Dewey, I will who's do it. Uh, busy as he can be. Yes, he is. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment and find out uh, what movies, if any, you should watch uh, this weekend. Don't go away. <laughs>